he faced when moving to St. Augustine in the 1970s. He says a city known for its history at a point failed to share its black history. Nolan, an author, historian, and civil rights activist, helped to change that. This is Changemakers. I dropped out of school in the 1960s to work in the civil rights movement. In 1963, there was a movement taking place one David Nolan couldn't ignore. That was the most meaningful year of my entire life, I'm sure. The year of the demonstrations in Birmingham, Alabama. Four young girls killed in the 16th Street Baptist Church bombing. Megger Evers assassinated in his driveway. It was the year Dr. King gave his I Have a Dream speech in Washington. And on November 22nd of that year, President Kennedy was assassinated. This was what was happening in America. You know, and I was, you know, growing up and you had to decide which side are you on. And to me, there was no question it was going to be that side. He's held on to old articles and memorabilia over the years, detailing his journey, choosing at times the unpopular path. From Virginia, the South Carolina Sea Islands, Atlanta to St. Augustine, Florida, living among history. It's almost like heaven. Uh, except there's also a hell attached to it. So, but you're right. I mean, the, for me as a historian, the greatest pleasure is walking down the street and walking past people who made history. He arrived in the ancient city in the 1970s and was among the house detectives, a group created to survey the city's old buildings. I walked up and down every street of St. Augustine for two years. I walked through the soles of many pairs of shoes. Nolan's worn out soles led him through the city's historically black neighborhood of Lincolnville. St. Augustine had been this incredibly important place in the civil rights movement. You know, it was the place between Birmingham and Selma, and it was the place that that gave rise to one of the two great legislative accomplishments of the movement, the Civil Rights Act of 1964. And yet when I came here, it was never talked about. It had been completely swept under the rug. He picked up that rug, dusted off, and put just about everything he could find underneath on display. A permanently marked freedom trail of historic sites of the Civil Rights Movement, trolley tours sharing the city's black history, Florida's first civil rights museum. You want people to appreciate the real things, you know, because so many people just come here and they hear pirate stories and ghost stories and they think that's all there is. And it's not. There was real history made in St. Augustine and it's within my lifetime, too. A founder of Accord, recognizing St. Augustine's role in the civil rights movement, Nolan still lights up while sharing the past. St. Augustine is really a treasure, but we've got to guard it constantly. Nolan had a wide range of stories to share as we sat in the Accord Museum, the former dental office of Dr. Robert Haling, including how he says he became the first person beaten by the Ku Klux Klan in the state of Virginia since the 1920s. Now you can hear all those stories right now streaming on First Coast News Plus, Roku, and Fire TV.